Hi, this is Jack Stanley, and I'm looking at a book here I wanted to open up for you, which I find rather fascinating. And it's all about John Brown. Farewell. God bless you, your friend, John Brown. This is a book that was written by James Redpath, and... James Redpath became the cheerleader for John Brown. It's interesting to note what they have down here. Six Semper Trianus, which is the motto of Virginia. And uh, what's rather fascinating about it, of course, is that's what John Wilkes Booth would say after he shot Lincoln. And this was a very interesting book came out in the beginnings of 1860. The dedication is quite fascinating. And then we go to the next page. Probably the best thing to do is stop the film here and take a look at this. The publisher's card. preface here, all by John Redpath, and John Redpath was very much a very strong, powerful abolitionist. He was originally from Scotland, and uh, he became a strong advocate and follower of John Brown, he even went and interviewed him, and uh, of course... He asked John Brown to write his autobiography, which he did, which is incorporated in this book that came out in the early part of 1860, right after the execution of John Brown. It's a very, it's very favorable to John Brown, of course. And uh, as I've said before, and I'm willing to say it again, that John Brown was a thug. I know a lot of people think that John Brown was... A great man. You know something? He killed an awful lot of people. That's not a way to be great. He disagreed with them. He was anti-slavery. But the whole thing is that whether you're against slavery or for slavery, you don't want to kill the people that you disagree with. And he did. He even killed an African-American train conductor who gave him a hard time on his way to Harper's Ferry. He was hanged, and of course, the North used him as their saint, and he was anything but that. But James Redpath, who wrote this book, as I said before, and... oops, one more page. There we are. Knocking everything over. This is the first edition. I, I was showing this to a dear friend who is in charge of early books at Columbia University. And they hadn't seen this one before. And it's not the rarest thing in the world, but it's certainly not the most common. It's kind of unusual. And it's an apologetic look at John Brown. The interesting thing that James Redpath would remain a strident abolitionist, write a lot of stuff dealing with that, and yet in later years he would be the ghostwriter for Jefferson Davis on his History of the South, and ended his days being hit by a streetcar and dying. But John Brown, much of what we know about John Brown, much of what happened about John Brown. Much of what was shared with us about John Brown comes from James Redpath. Rather fascinating when you think about it, don't you? And uh wanted to share this with you. A little bit of history. We'll look at this more later. So that's about all I have to say.
Thank you very much.